well, look at this. We got a box here. <laughs> um, we've got a Goodwill blue box. Um, bonjour tout le monde. This is Jennifer. I am a full time French teacher who went back to work today after the summer and a part time reseller. And it's been a little while, um, maybe a few videos since we've done a blue box, but here is a five pound Goodwill blue box from Ohio that we are going to open and see what kind of goodies are inside. I'm going to, I'm going to pull a Joanne, um, Joanne at Texas Cache. I will, um, link her, her channel right here. Um, always says, you know, the little pieces get stuck down at the bottom. And so she opens it upside down to keep from losing all those little pieces, which is genius. And so now I call it, I'm pulling a Joanne. <laughs> so she's fantastic to watch. Her voice is very soothing. Um, and she does have some jewelry knowledge. I always learn something from her, always. All right. I think these scissors could cut mustard right now. They're pretty dull. Okay. All right, what have we got? What have we got? Hmm, I see colors I like. I'm a big um, kind of like fall color person. So I'm seeing lots of browns and greens. So that's, um, I always like that. Okay, some pretty stuff in here. I see faux tort of some sort that looks like an earring um earrings we will lay to the side and see what kind of matches we get now in these there's a good chance of not getting a lot of matches because the way these boxes are just thrown together oh my gosh this looks like that kind of bracelet all right we pulled some stuff out oh let me move this i got two little containers up here one is a yes and one is a maybe I tend to just say maybe to a lot of things um, in the beginning um, while I'm going through. That is gorgeous. That is absolutely beautiful. Okay, so let me. Um, I'm gonna lay this down to sort things on it because it muffles the sound of my light box. I feel like my light box is a little too loud. Okay. All right, and let's get you guys tilted around. How's that? I think that's a good good look. Spread this out and see what we got. Okay, see some pretty stuff. All right, I'm just gonna start, see what I can pull out first. Um, well, we'll start with this bracelet. This is so pretty. So you've got abalone shell, and I don't know what the blue is and like the moon and the stars, but that abalone shell is just gorgeous. Let's see. Isn't that beautiful? And then this is all textured. It's like it's um, spiral. So pretty. It is marked something. Um... I see, I feel like I see an M. Y'all see an M? And an A? Do I see an A, M, F? Um, I don't know. Let's see what this does. Hang on. Hmm. Yeah, that's kind of what it looks like. That's interesting. It kind of looks like an A on top and an M, F on the bottom. So I don't know, you guys. I have no idea what that could be. I'm pulling out the magnet. It is not magnetic, so we may need to test this for um, for sterling. That would be nice to start off with a piece of sterling. Okay, we've got a. Oh, let me let me zoom y'all back out. Okay, we've got a very simple um, bangle, and usually these are good to stack. I'll stick it in the maybe. But more than likely, I won't do much with that. These are not my favorite. <laughs> These, um, look, it's, everything is hooking to it. These magnetic 
like wrap things. They're just, I don't know, they're just not my favorite things. So I tend to, when I get these, just stick them in the maybe and I'll figure something out later. Um, but it looks like a venturing. So that green does look like a venturing. So that's cool. And then of course these magnetite, magnetic beads. That's a pretty little stretch. You've got shells and some sort of black stone. Cute stretch. That's going in the maybe. It would be good to stack with something else. So somebody once told me putting um, a necklace through a straw keeps it from getting tangled. Do you see how well that worked? <laughs> good try, Ohio. All right. What have we got here? Um, let me scoot this stuff up. Okay. Let's see what we have right here. If anything. Okay. Looks like it might be in somewhat of a knot. And I definitely don't want to spend too much time on any one thing. But, um, we have a gold tone necklace with some very pretty like champagne colored beads with Aurora Borealis and some light blue ones. Those are pretty. That's a pretty little piece. It's not marked, um, but it's very, very dainty, very feminine. These feel like glass. They sound like glass. So nice. I'll put that in the maybe. What are you? Oh my gosh. I just saw this really cool thing. Look at her. Um, it looks like a very well-dressed lady with a little doggy, and she's got her suitcase and I see New York on it and I see Paris right here and LA here. That's cool. A cool pin, something that someone who travels a lot, you know, that might be something fun for them to have. Um, I'm trying to make, I'm seeing if the clasp works. Got a C clasp back here. And there we go. Yeah, it's a little stiff, but it works. I don't see any marking on this whatsoever. But I love selling brooches. And for some reason, even unmarked brooches, if they're unique, they will sell well. So we'll put that in the yes. It's rare for me to get brooches in these. That's interesting. Okay, what have we got? What have we got? Um. Okay, just a gold tone necklace with black kind of um, velour or velvet ribbon going through it. Not marked. I'll stick that in the maybe, but that velvet ribbon is looking a little rough. Um, so it may, it may end up being a no if I can't get that clean. What was that? Okay. I just dropped my, um, my magnifying thing in the, on the floor. Okay. Let's see, um, this looks, this reminds me of Premier Designs. So we've got a whole necklace here. Let me see, oh, it's, and it is supposed to be, this whole thing is supposed to be in there. Hang on, let's not leave the gray one out, y'all. Okay, there we go, there we go. It is, this is Premier Designs. So you've got multi-strand black and gray with this slightly hammered um, open hoop or pendant. And there is, hold on, try to get it turned around. Okay, here's the Premier Designs. You'll see a P and a D, a P on top of a D, and what I call laurel leaves under it. So, Premier Designs, they, they have a following, I'm telling you. I can usually sell Premier Designs pretty well. So, it's, it went in the yes. This is interesting, check out this pin. So we've got another brooch. The um, the closure is, did the closure break? No. Is it supposed to look like that? Hold on. I've never seen a closure like this. Can you guys see what I'm doing? Um, okay, do that and push that over it. Huh, fancy. I've never seen a closure like that. Again, unmarked but so unique. I'm just worried that it was supposed to have gold chains here and it doesn't. I'll Google lens it. It's unique enough that it might show up, but I'll put it in the yes. Okay. 
Ooh, oh, this feels terrible. I just can't even lie about that. <laughs> this is yuck. <laughs> this brown suede. Oh, gosh, it feels awful. So that's going in the no. <laughs> that was a definite no. Okay. <laughs> We've got another little bangle. I love all the um, etching on it great piece for stacking it almost reminds me of brighton the way that it is etched but i don't see any marks on it but i am going to put it in the maybe i might come up with enough of those to stack together and sell them oh is that a ring how neat all right so i got a little rhinestone elastic ring here how cute is that hmm. okay what is this? Oh, a little stretchy bracelet. Very pretty with those textured gold um, tone beads and then the, the cream color beads. Very pretty. That'll go in there. Maybe we'll find some, some stuff to go with it. All right. Still got the straw thing here happening. All right. Earring out the way. Earring out the way. This is pretty. All right, so I've got some very um, simple little flowers. They're pretty and a variety of centers on them. Some are rhinestones and some are faux pearls. And then this, this flower in the middle, very pretty. It's a modern piece, a lot of wear on the clasp. I don't know if it just needs to be washed, like cleaned up and rubbed down or what. Um, but I'm gonna put this in the maybe. Let's see what we can get loose here. I think I can get this loose real quick. There we go. Lots of earrings so far. All right, looking for a clasp to undo. And oh, we've got an old rubber band here. Is it holding all that together? Looks like it might be. Hi, where is your clasp? Okay. <laughs> All right, I might have to worry about this later because it's just a little too tangled. Ooh, that's pretty. Look at this bracelet. And you've got this, um, maybe, it could be, could be dendritic, um, dendritic, dendritic jasper or agate that's pretty and these beads are gorgeous the way they sparkle nice little stretchy very cute all right i did pull this one out and um didn't do anything with it hang on let me um fasten it so you've got ball chain and just a a star murka so we'll put that in the maybe Hey, do I see a wrap bracelet? I do, I do. We've got a beautiful wrap bracelet. Is that, that's, um, don't tell me. I, well, y'all can't tell me anyway. It is not malachite, ruby zoocyte. Z-O-O-I-S-I-T-E. And now this one, now ruby zoocyte, you'll see f um, flashes of red in it. Not necessarily flashes, but Almost pieces of redstone. I don't see any in here, but it is absolute. I see like a pink. It is absolutely possible to get a cut from the stone that doesn't have any, but it still be ruby zoocyte. Okay, so got lots of different types of beads, more greens and some browns and some gunmetal, gold. I love these bracelets. And we've got a little button closure no marking so it's chan lu style but not a chan lu um but i do like it i i put it in the yes but do not be surprised if i keep this because <laughs> it is my jam and it's my colors so i love green um i love green clothes jewelry it's just an, a nice color 
Oh, it's too bad. This is missing a rhinestone right here in the middle. But this looks really old, you guys. This looks super old. Not marked, but looking at that clasp and the way the, the point comes out from behind it. And then just looking at this, this looks really old, but it is in bad, bad shape. So uh, I'll put it in the maybe, but it's really not in very good shape. It might only be good to harvest. All right. We've got this beautiful wood necklace. If this doesn't scream fall, I don't know what does. You've got this beautiful olive green and brown. No marks, but very pretty, very fall-like. So we will put that in the maybe. Oh, another, oh, that's an earring. I thought it was a little pin. Okay, all right, what have we got here? A little necklace with a toggle clasp got a toggle probably this probably is handmade lots of beautiful blues got some cool crackle beads they sound like um glass these sound like acrylic so lots of blues and it goes down into this pendant that's got rhinestones all the way around it very pretty very small and I'll put that in the maybe. A bangle going in the maybe. All right, what have we got here? This is pretty. So, we've got like a, almost like an antique gold tone. And then you've got all of these um, beads and rhinestones that come down like fringe. I won't huh, take extra time right now to make sure all the rhinestones are there. That's the one thing I'd be worried about. But if I went to list it, I would definitely check it over really well. No marking. It looks like it's got a lot of hair in it too. Um, but that's okay, we can clean that out. It is pretty. This is, yeah, that's definitely my style as well. Okay. We're still hooked here. We're still hooked on something crazy. Okay. Okay. All right. Oh, this is pretty. Look at this guy. You see this little dragonfly with orange wings? Oh, is he missing? Huh. Do you think something went over here, or is that supposed to look like that? Is it supposed to look open on that side? I don't know. I don't know. Because I'm thinking it's supposed to be open. But that is very pretty. This looks like sterling. Um, I'm gonna see if I see any marks. I do not. We can hit it with a magnet really quick. The clasp looks sterling. I don't know about anything else. Hang on. The jump rings keep wanting to pull. So it's the jump ring that's pulling, not the clasp itself. Ah, there's a little magnetism to the clasp. But I'm going to put that in the maybe. He's very sweet. The chain looks kind of green. <laughs> Not like vertigree green. It's just a weird green color on that chain. Okay. What else do we have? All right, let me undo this guy. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Ooh, I see something pretty too. Okay. Ooh, I get so excited. Um, all right, feels like we have a handmade necklace um, with black acrylic beads and clear acrylic faceted beads. Lobster clasp. So I will put that in the maybe. All right, we got a little necklace here. This is pretty. Um, I was looking to see if I saw any markings on it. This looks like something that you would get at like Express or something. Hold on. There is something marked right there. 
I had to reach all the way in the floor to get this guy. <laughs> all right, where did I see it? There it is. Let me see what I see. Okay, in R, so this is an Avon piece. It's very pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? I love selling Avon. I'm gonna put it in the yes, cause I, I'm just a big fan of selling Avon. It doesn't always go for the highest, and not every piece you get is gonna sell, but people tend to like the really unique pieces. All right, now, there we go. So this is all shells. Looks like something you would buy at a beach store, but they're the really tiny, unique looking shells, not just your basic average. And then you've got cowrie shells right here. So yeah, looks like it would have go, gone or been in a, um, a beach like touristy store. And if it sounds like I say that with um, disdain in my voice, it is because I grew up in a tourist, a beach tourist area. So we tend to be like, ah, tourists, but they are great for the economy. <laughs> okay, we've got um, just some beads on a cord. These kind of look silver, um, like sterling. And then this, this is a spiral. That's interesting. I'm just gonna put it in the maybe. It, again, it looks like a handmade piece. All right, uh, is this all one piece? Oh, this is pretty. All right, hang on. I think they're two different pieces. Okay, this is, this is different. So you've got this red chain with like ball stations and then this swallow. So this is a uh, like a swallowtail or a barn swallow bird. I can always tell swallow or barn swallows by the V tail. So that's interesting. I don't, I don't think it goes together in my opinion, but it's interesting. Okay, now we've got this silver tone necklace with all these little stars on it. Most of this I'm throwing into maybe. All right. Hey, look, here's the, <laughs> here's, let me, let me zoom y'all out. Ah, look, here's the straw and the necklace and we're trying to keep it from getting tangled. So this is our little pendant, very dainty, sweet. Let's see if we can find a, a clasp and see, I don't see any kind of maker's mark. I'm surprised. But it's a pretty little piece. I love dainty jewelry like that. I'm gonna put it in the yes, even though it's not marked. Um, this looks broken. Looks like it would have, it's something elastic that broke. Okay. Wow, look at this. Okay, a little bit industrial. I'm loving it. However, we're missing some rhinestones on the flower. We're missing, are we? Are we missing a rhinestone right there? Yes, I believe so. So, sadly we're, and yeah, I think, yeah, we're missing rhinestones. But that's a cool piece. I like that bib look. I wonder if it would be easy to take, it might be easy to take the flowers off and just wear it without them, you know? Interesting. Yeah, this is something I could rework into something else. I love it. Okay, going in the in the maybe, baby. All right. I want to know what's in this bag. What was so important that we had to have it in a bag? <gasps> Look at that M. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay. So we've got a little. Um, Pendant necklace with an M on it. That's pretty. Don't see, oh, just tied it in a knot. I don't see any specific maker mark on it right away. I'm wondering if there's any markings on this um, clasp. 
I wonder if it's um, vermeil, gold over sterling. It feels like that dent had a mark in it or something and it wore off. Let me flip this over and look at it. But I don't know. Let's see. It's not magnetic. It's the chain. The chain is. The clasp is not. It's the M. Hold on. Come here, M. The M is not. I'm wondering if I should test that. Okay. Um, these rubber bands are really confusing me. I feel like I need to cut them. I know I said it looks like they're holding something important together. Like things that were meant to go together. But I think I'm going to have to cut them. I think that will help the cause. Alright. What have we got? Oh, maybe I could untie it. Oh, or maybe it's dry rotted enough. I can just pull it and break it. <laughs> Here we go. We'll cut this. All right. All right. So we got our first matching pair of earrings. They're really pretty. Um, lever backs. And you've got just some colorful bead clusters. Aren't those pretty? And look at how they flash and shine. I love that. I'm gonna put them in the maybe. I'm gonna hook them together. There we go. And then this looked like it could be another matching earring set. Let me unhook it from here. All right, what have we got? Oh, that's very pretty. All right, let me um, let me try to unhook these from each other and pull them up to you guys and pull you guys into them. Look at that. And watch those flowers. Watch those flowers sparkle. Aren't that, isn't that beautiful? Lever back, um, a yellow faceted, like diamond shaped briolette. And then those little flowers that just sparkle and shine. I love it. Very, very pretty. Okay. It, these lever bags see some wear. I see wear on those, but they could be replaced. I would replace them with something gold tone since everything else is gold tone. All right. I put them in the maybe. All right. We got you untangled. I think we do. Let's get all rid of this rubber band so that it's not getting tangled in other things. All right, so we've got Influence. It is lead compliant. Um, okay, let's move the scissors. So we've got this long gold chain, gold tone chain, with um, just like some bar stations on it. And then this wooden and gold tone pendant. I love the matte gold. That's pretty. So, I'm going to put that in the maybe also. That's pretty. Okay. Don't know what all we've got going on here. I think I've seen this. No, that's a key. I thought it was something else. Hey. We might have this undone. Okay. So, what have we got? we got a bracelet. I think so. Okay, we got a really pretty charm bracelet. I don't know what you are, but you're coming out. Um, with some birds, or oh, a bird, key, a flower, a angel wing, a heart, and faux pearls, toggle. I don't see any kind of maker's mark, but I'll put it in the maybe, that's neat. That's pretty. Very boho. Okay. What do I have? I know I've got an earring in here somewhere. Okay, cool. I like that one. Okay. Mm. 
Y'all know how much we love these multi strands. <laughs> All right, so we have, with this, we've got a flower with some, like, resin. Yeah, that feels like resin in it. On a silver tone chain. The chain does see some wear. It is marked 925. It's marked 925 right there. So, um, it's pulling. So, I'm thinking it's not. It's probably a faker. Um, but we'll put it in there maybe, even though that, that chain has a ton of wear. Okay. Goodness gracious, what have we got going on here, kids? So... This is just looking like a multi-strand necklace. Hey, there we go. Just multi-strand, it's like um, a lot of ball chain, very shiny ball chain. Um, what is it, five, six strands? Two, four, six, eight, eight. So there we go, yeah, it's pretty. I'll put that in the maybe. All right, let's dig in and get some more stuff. Woo! All right. A little bit more here to play with. Ooh, I like that earring. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Okay. <laughs> Always. Some of the earrings we get in these. It's like, holy Toledo. Okay, looks like part of a broken bracelet happening or broken something. Hey, we got the Ohio State Pin, um, 1803 to 2003. So this is vintage. It's the Ohio Bicentennial. How awesome is that? Love it. All right, got a bangle. He's a little whoppy jarred, but we're going to put that in the maybe. What is under here? How did that happen? Oh, Lord of mercy. What are, I know what these are for, but I can't think of what it's for. I can't remember. Um, That's gorgeous. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? All right, we're putting them over there. I've been wanting to look at this. Look at this bracelet. This bracelet is so cool. Oh, there's the Premier Designs. Um, it, it, this bracelet does show a lot of wear, a lot of tone loss, but can you see the PD? So it's just, you know, it's really discolored. I don't know how much cleaning I could do to make this look okay. And for some reason, it's got pink goo on it. I don't know about the pink goo, y'all, but it's a cool bracelet. I kind of like it patinaed. Interesting. I'm going to put it in the maybe. And we got another bracelet. Oh, gosh. It's a stretch, and that stretch is going to give way at any second. I'm going to look at it wrong, and it's going to pop. I'm telling you. Um, I don't see a maker's mark on this one either. So, it's going to have to go to, like, craft or a no-bin. <laughs> Um, this looks like a piece of copper tone something that would go to craft. Let's see. That's testing. That can go to craft. Okay. All right. What have we got? Oh, we got a little string bracelet. Not marked. I'm going to put it in the maybe. Got this aluminum bangle. Oh, and it's got kind of like rhinestone -y chips there. Um, I'll put that in the maybe. Goodness. Ah. Okay. 
This bracelet is cool. It feels good. It feels heavy. It feels well made. So you've got some um, dark gray metallic beads that are faceted, and then you've got rondelles. So these these um, tire looking things with ron, um, rhinestones, those are rondelles. And then you've just got some like what I call ballet beads. When you've got beads like this that have etchings in them, I call them ballet beads. I don't know where I learned that. Bally, Bali, but um, that's pretty. I'm gonna put that in the maybe. It feels good. All right, a little, a little bracelet. Look at this little guy. What's on it? Oh, it's a flamingo. It's on a string. It's got some pink and red beads and a flamingo. How cute. I don't throw that in the maybe. This is pretty. This is a pretty necklace. So you've got some dyed shell some dyed um i guess mother of pearl shell and then just a silver tone clasp looks handmade but it is pretty these are my school colors <laughs> all right i'm gonna leave that in there <gasps> is this a ring it's a stretchy ring look at this guy and it's, like I said, it's a stretch. Uh, stretch feels actually good on it. Let's see. It's a little twisted, but so am I. Okay, there we go. That's cute. Got a blue stretchy. Okay. We've got a faux leather cord and lots of beads, lots of floral looking beads. These definitely look like tires, don't they? That's a cool piece. A little bit industrial. I love, love industrial jewelry. Oh, this looks like it broke off of something. Like it would have been in a double strand bracelet. This is, oh, look, here's the best company. They make pendants and, well, they make all kinds of stuff. This one happens to be a pendant of like a starfish. I guess, is that a starfish? Very pretty. All right, I'll put that in the maybe. Earring, what have we got? Um, Broken piece of something. Earring, earring that I'm loving. All right. Let's pull you off. Okay. Look at this. This is beautiful. Oh my gosh, y'all. Look at this cross with the tiger's eye. How gorgeous is that? That is beautiful. That is incredible. I'm in love. Okay. I was looking to see if there were any markings. Gold tone chain. Um, I'll have to throw this under the loop and see if I see any other kind of marking on it. Let's see. Oh, man, that's pretty. It's magnetic, so I'm not thinking that it's anything precious. But that is, that's so pretty. I'm going to put that in the yes. I think someone would love that. All right. Ermish. We have an Ermish bracelet. People love Ermish. So it's a little stretchy. You've got this one disco ball. <laughs> disco ball. And then these um, kind of rosy silver tone beads. Okay. All right, we've got a handmade kind of bracelet here and it, it really didn't do a good job. I'm gonna put it in craft. The, the beads would be good to use. They look like little seeds. Oh, another, another stretchy ring. So I'm gonna put this one on here. Hopefully they weren't all part of a bracelet. <laughs> I'm just wearing them like rings. Ooh, ooh. Okay, all that, look, that's very sweet. Plastic beads, well, yeah, they're plastic. Um. So yeah, all right, and then we got this guy. 
which also looks handmade. I like that it's unisex. I think a guy or a girl could wear that. Cool. All right. We've got a pendant. Is that a wolf? I think that's a wolf. Looks like pewter. Um, it looks like it's made out of pewter. It's got pitting in the back. I don't know why. Let me hit it with this. We'll test it. It's not magnetic, but it really does look pewter to me. Um, I'll put it with the bracelet that I plan on testing. Oh, we got some. What are these? These feel like pla little plastic rings. Look, some little girl would love that. And look at that. Oh, it says rock. <laughs> How sweet is that? That's so funny. I bet there's a little girl somewhere who would just have so much fun wearing that. Okay. What are you? Oh, I know what you are. Okay, let's get a few more things. stuff in here okay that should be good for now another pile ooh, 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 ooh. look at this missing some stones unfortunately but look how look at look at the dome on that that is incredible how beautiful is that We're missing one, two, three, four, five of those um, AB coated stones. But gosh, that's gorgeous. That feels like, hmm, I don't know what that feels like. It feels interesting. That is just gorgeous. All right, don't see any mark on it. Ah, <sighs> setting it to the side, because that's a big I don't know. Look at him. What does he go with? He doesn't have holes in him or anything. What's this guy for? He's very cute. But it's like it has nothing, like, that would go with jewelry. But he's so cute. Um, This would look good on one of Brighton's fairy doors. Okay. <laughs> And if you haven't seen Brighton's Fairy Doors, it's 42 minutes in, we'll, uh, we'll link to his channel to the actual video where he showed off some of his fairy doors. All right, we got a little bangle here with like a mosaic type look. Very pretty. Oh, I like this. go over there. Look at this one. Um, I probably need to move this chain. Oh gosh, Jen. Come on. Alright. We just got a basic chain right here. I don't know what it went with. Um, but look at this. All these wooden beads. That's cool. I love the coloring. Again, that's fall. I like that toggle like a, a bead toggle so this works just like a toggle class but I call it a bead toggle because you use a bead to um to fasten it so that's pretty what is this looks like it came off that bracelet I put it in the maybe this says Effie um Effie and it just looks like a chain oh wait is there something there's there is there's a pendant on it hang tight kids I thought it was just a silver tone chain. All right. It's very pretty, very dainty. And then you've got these two. Was it supposed to have two pendants on it? That's interesting. One looks a little blue and one looks clear. I wonder if this was somebody's like you know how you get the necklace or whatever with the stones of your of your kids, like their birthstones? I wonder if that's what this was meant for. It's very, very pretty. Um, I'm going to stick it back in here. 
so dainty. It'll get tangled in everything. All right. So I'm starting to wonder if it really is that brand. All right. I think I've seen this necklace before. I really feel like I have. Not branded, but you've got all these. I mean, each one of these is a separate, um, like, beaded wire that was attached. That's kind of cool. So, put that in the maybe. We got just a something that broke. So, it's going in there. All right, we got, ooh, we got a cool, look at this cool scarf, um, doodad. <laughs> I don't know what to call it, but you run a scarf through these. That's cool. It kind of looks a little artisan made. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. I'll put it in the yes. Oh, wow. That feels good. It's heavy. So, I'm going to put that in the maybe. This can also go in the maybe. These beads feel like rubber. I don't know if you've ever felt those rubbery like beads. And it says Brooklyn. I don't know if we're talking about the place or the person. So, all right. Come hither. All right. It looks like we've got a rainbowy type choker with a heart in the middle. Okay. Oh, and it's marked. This thing is marked, y'all. All right. Let's see what it is. I thought I saw a hang tag. I did. Oh, wow. That's Premier Designs? I never would have guessed, but there's the PD. Never would have guessed that. That's interesting. And some of the finish is peeling. So sad. Sad. It's going to have to go to craft. Maybe somebody can use that heart for something. Okay. Oh, look at that. I like that. Did we have a necklace like this, right? I think we did. I think we had a necklace similar to this. Okay, we're gonna put that over there and you over there, what's you? All right, we've got our bracelet. Wow, um, he's a little broken. It looks like somebody, you know, did some bead weaving. Not an easy chore, but it is pretty. However, some of it has come undone. So I'll put that over in the craft pile. That looks sad. He is just all been out of shape. So going in the trash. Okay. We got another bracelet here. The only problem is it's missing stones. So we'll put that in craft also. Okay. That's an earring. Interesting. Okay. I'm moving slow today, I think. All right, what have we got here? Um, a leaf. Is that Canada? I feel like Canada has less flower thingies, less petals. It is marked. What are you marked? Let's see back here. It says G23. I don't know what that means, but G23, is that an, um, a military signification? Hmm, I don't know. Or is it, does it have anything to do with Boy Scouts? I don't know. All right, we have a faux leather square braided bracelet, and this says courage. It must have been made for the Cowardly Lion in Wizard of Oz. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. All right, what have we got? Got a pair of earrings here. That's I was trying to get these undone. So it looks like we've got a pair of screw backs. I love screw back earrings. Let me see if I can get it out of here. Those are pretty. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Um, do I see any mark on them? I do not, but they are pretty and I love, love selling screw back earrings. 
Okay. I'm going to hook them together, I hope, and put them in the yes. Okay. I might not, like, really hook them together good. All right, we just got a little chain here. No marking on it. It shows a lot of wear. But I will put it in craft. Okay. And what is this? This looks very boho. Is this all one piece or is it two pieces? This might be two pieces. It is. This is two pieces. Okay. They both look boho. Um, so we've got uh, like a faux suede cord with some cool beads. Um, very earth tone, probably faux turquoise. And just a spring, is that a spring ring clasp? Yes, a spring ring clasp. I'm gonna put that in the maybe. And then we've got this vintage necklace. Um, this, is that? I don't think it's wood. This might be horn. Can you have horn this color? That's kind of what it looks like. That looks like, wait a minute, what does that feel like? That feels like a seed pod of some sort. Interesting. And it's all on a barrel clasp. So very cool. I'm gonna put that, I love that, that it's unisex also. I'm gonna put that in the maybe. All right, let's get out a few more things. We're getting near the bottom. For the hairdresser in your life. Love it. Genuine leather. So that's hilarious. Okay, it's very blingy. Look at this watch. This looks old. It's a Seiko. S E I K O quartz. Um stretchy band. Wow. Every every bar on the band is marked Seiko. Talk about branding your stuff. Wowzers. That's pretty. I'm, um, it's, it's a little cloudy. I don't know if it's scratched up or it just needs good cleaning. I'll put it in the maybe. Bangle, maybe. Uh, what have we got here? Uh, Alex and Ani similar. And you've got these guys. And there's two hearts that's, they're pretty. What's on the back? Oh, mothers and daughters never truly part, connected in each other's hearts. Okay. And this is, oh, I think that's a jewelry company. Love this life. I think so. I'm going to put that in the maybe. We got a, a brown wooden bead. What are you? All right, we got another interesting pin. I'm loving it, y'all. I love it when I find interesting brooches and pins. Look at this. It's, that's an, I feel like that's an old one too. That's at least an old pin clasp. Do you see how far the point sticks out from here? This feels like plastic. That's neat. It's kind of got a, I don't know cosmic look to it. Hmm. Okay. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. That's like nothing I've ever found before. Okay. Okay. All these are rubber banded together. Didn't we see some like this? I don't know. We've got a bourbon and bow ties. Yep. See the BB? Bourbon and bow ties. I've got so many of these. I've, I've got a set of like four of these listed and I made put this in with it and re um reprice it and everything so that's pretty earring oh look at these earrings this is like mardi gras happening aren't those pretty pierced earrings they look 
maybe like they were something and somebody redid them is the vibe I'm getting from those. So yeah, they're pretty. And they do, they do make me think of Mardi Gras. Okay. Oh, got another ring missing lots of rhinestones. That's one of these that looks like that. But yeah, missing tons of rhinestones. All right, you can go over there. This is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. So you see, we got a pin. Would you please look at this mess? This looks like, like rubber bands that got melted together. And then these beads were glued on top, you guys. This is a craft experiment gone wrong. Oh my gosh. Martha Stewart would beat you with a belt for making this. Okay, it's going into craft, but I don't even think it's craftable. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's tight. It's about to bust at any minute. <laughs> this is like rubber and a little, oh, it's got a sharp tooth in it. So another um, maybe gift shop, a beach gift shop kind of thing. Okay, we're throwing some earrings over here, y'all. This goes with snap jewelry, I believe. Okay. What's this? Oh my gosh, you guys. It's a little poodle. Look at him. Look at him. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. That has to be Avon. Um, It's got something on there. All right, hold on. Mm -mm. It says Nemo. That's a new one to me. It says Nemo. How cute is he? He's got little black eyes. And then his body is rhinestones. He is so adorable. That is just sweet. I'm putting that in the yes. He's teeny tiny, but he's unique. And I think he'll sell. Look at this beautiful pendant. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Um, we got some kind of mark back here. Let's take a look. All right, Jen. It is Mark 925 and China. It's got some other marks on it that I can't discern but it could be um for may gold over silver so i will test that putting it with the testing pile oh what's in the bag look got another got another stacky guy or another um elastic ring i'm assuming that's what these are <laughs> put them all together all right it's gonna cut the circulation off of my finger Ah, uh, did this go on the back of the owl? I don't know. Okay. Oh, that's a cool earring. All right. What are you? Um, anybody know that mark? I do not. It's like a flower. Is there something on the other side? Yep. Just same flower. All right. I'm putting it up there. Let me know in the comments if you recognize that. This bracelet is gorgeous. So you've got faux pearls. The finish is coming off of some of them. Surrounded by like in a rhinestone type setting frame. That's so pretty. That is so pretty. I'll put it in the maybe. I'm sad that some of the finish is coming off. But that is so pretty. Okay, can I say so pretty again? Um, all right. Is this a bracelet? It, it. Needs some help. Uh, it's about stretched out, but I do like the um, the roughness of it. The fact that it just looks kind of brutalist, um, not necessarily highly polished and refined. So I do like that. All right, we got a little stretchy here. Looks like we have a demi parure here, a partial set. 
uh, stuff that would go together. So it looks like we've got, and they're purple. They've got a good weight to them. And then this necklace with a toggle, or not necklace, bracelet with a toggle clasp. And this looks, this does look handmade to me. Very well could be. But it's a pretty little set. Um, put it back in there. All right. Ooh, look at that. That's a cool bracelet. Again, for your traveler. A uh, person that loves to travel, that would be a nice bracelet for them. Very cool. And then we've got this cool looking necklace here. I think it's a necklace. I'm kind of excited about it. If I can figure it out. <laughs> There's where the struggle is, y'all. Hold on. I think this is a clasp. Okay. I think I'm getting it. Okay, okay. That's beautiful. Isn't that pretty? Okay, this um, this piece of chain needs to come up and hook here. I can fix that, no problem. But look at all these um, like cabochons in here. Hold on, let's bang them together. They feel like actual stones. And then you got all the little um, clamshell bells here. That's cool. I love that necklace. What do you guys think? What do you guys think of that? That's pretty. I really do like that. I think I would put that in the yes. It's dramatic enough that I want to sell it. Okay. I think I'll put that in the yes. Did, yeah, we saw that. That went in the yes. Um, all right. Let's see if we could dump the rest of the box out and finish this up. We'll do, I will do like I always do with these boxes is after we look the rest of this, I will cut out, match up everything that I can, test what I can, and I'll come back and let you guys know uh, final results of everything. All right, we got some little Claire Sterling Silver Hinged Hoops. Okay. Yeah. All right. School starting, and I'm telling you, the texts haven't stopped. I thought by, <laughs> I thought that by um, resigning as the department head, that things would calm down. Oh heck, no. <laughs> but that's okay. That's all right. I have always been that person that poured myself into my school. That's a really pretty pendant. If that's what that's supposed to be, that's a gorgeous pendant. Isn't that pretty? Gold tone. Um, yeah. I'll put that in craft. It's not marked or anything, but it's pretty. Oh, look at this ring. Oh, my gosh. I love it because it looks like, you know, a big Celtic knot. All right. Have we marked anything? I don't see any markings. Oh, my God. I'm in love. Okay. Are you? What are you? What are you? Okay, so we've got a, um, oh, I don't know what that stone is. It looks like a, maybe a, just some kind of blue chalcedony. And the bale is marked 925. So, I don't know if y'all will be able to see the 925, but it is marked 925 right there. It's got something in front of it, but I don't know what. That's so pretty. Okay, we're gonna set that to the side for testing. Oh gosh, I think I've had this pin before. No, I haven't had a kitty cat pin where his head moves. Look at this. Doop, 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 doop. Nope, 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 you can't do that. Okay, how cute is he? Dang it. All right. Listen, um, I didn't give prices, but if you see something you like, just email me at, it's coming down on the bottom, frenchteachernva at yahoo.com. Let me know what it was. Um, you might have to give me a little timestamp close to where it was at so that I can figure it out. I have the worst memory in the world, 
So if you say, oh, I want the necklace with the five stones, I'll be like, what? Um, so you might have to give me a timestamp and then I'll, I'll throw a price out at you. I love him. He's so cute with his little black rhinestone eyes and his bobbly head. Bobble head. Okay. Love that. All right. <laughs> You're like, this lady gets excited over dumb stuff. This looks like a broken something. What are you? You're a pin. Okay. We got another pin. This is Coro. Shocked. Do y'all see Coro written right under the bar for the pin? Okay, so that's Coro. I am surprised that it's Coro. I feel like this should be spun in so that you can't see the seam. So I would definitely try to fix that, but I would sell that in a heartbeat. What's in it? Is there supposed to be is there supposed to be something in it? I'll Google lenses and see what I could figure. Is there something in it? Y'all, what is that? interesting all right i'm just gonna have to google lens it and figure that one out that's a hoot um broken something uh, more broken somethings all right let me see what else we got we got a few more pendants here this looks like premier designs um i don't see any kind of marking on it at all but it does look like something premier designs would do I'm putting it in craft. It's pretty, very pretty. Broken, got a little pin here. Oh, look at that, it's a Olympics pin. How appropriate, how appropriate for this time. I wonder when it was from. That's interesting, there's no date or anything on it. How fun is that? I'll put it with the Ohio pin. Um, a broken piece from a four strand piece of jewelry. All right, we're gonna get those over there. Are you an earring? Yes, that looks like, I don't see it. I was gonna say this looks like a um, Kate Spade, but I don't see any marking on it. All right, oh. This is something that broke off of something. That's pretty. All right, earrings, earrings. What are you? <laughs> Don't know. Oh, an earring. It's rubber. It's rubber. Okay. Oh my goodness. Look at this sweet little ring. Oh. Um, adjustable band. It needs to be bent back into shape for sure. I'm trying to decide if it's marked right there. I'll have to look at it through the loop. All right, let me put it on this finger. Oh my God, that's the sweetest little ring. Okay, we've got a little bits and bobs here. This had something hanging from it. It was an earring, a broken piece of something. What does it say? Come follow me, Jesus said. Okay, I don't know, Jesus, you got any candy? Um, you have cats? I like cats? Okay. 15, 15. All right, you guys, um, I'm gonna pop this off. Oh, we didn't look at this bracelet. And then um, I will see if we have any earring matches over there. And then I'll come back and give you guys some results of what I found. This bracelet is pretty, very dainty, modern piece. All right, I'll be right back. Y'all, I just did the whole ending to that video and I had it, I, I didn't turn my camera on. I'm a dingus. All right, listen, I'm just gonna re rerun this. Um, all right, here was my stone and I've left it sitting because, all right, this did not turn out to be silver. It did not test as silver. I still love it though. I still think it's so beautiful. This, um, this did not test as silver and I do believe it's pewter. So there we go. Um, this, the M and the clasp is that right there. And that's with 18 karat. So it didn't 
go anywhere and I don't understand why. Like it didn't, the acid didn't eat it up. So I'm not sure what's happening right there with that. Um, let's see this, uh, this, this right here is that big blue streak you see. So the bail on that definitely is silver. This is marked 925, but it did not test as 925. So that's that. There, there you go. And let me tell you, that acid on that on that one has been sitting for a while for this this gold piece. So I don't know what's happening with with this. All right, cute little clips that match. I don't know if that's real turquoise, but these are cute. They are older, so I love those. Um, these two matched. These look like something that maybe somebody made, which is fine. They're pretty. They're very lightweight, but they're pretty. Um, matches. Is that it? Yes. I think that was all. We had two, two matches, except for the ones that I threw in earlier. I was sad that we didn't get a match to that. Um, the snowman was cracking me up. Look at him. Uh, what else? What else? This little owl was sad. We did not get matched the match to Mr. Owl. And I wished we had gotten this. Look at this um, rhinestone in the middle. If that's not Swarovski, I'm telling you, it's like a Rivoli. Well, it's a, a reverse Rivoli because the point goes down back here. That is so typical of Swarovski and the way that it shines. So I'm, I'm, strong suspicion and I wish we had gotten the match to that. So that's it you guys. Um this is a normal box. This is what I would expect is to have a little bit and I'll pop you up here a little bit of stuff that I really definitely want to sell and a little bit of maybe and the rest of this can all go to craft. So I appreciate you guys watching. If you haven't subscribed to the channel I would love it if you subscribe if you liked this video, you um, learned something from it, you just enjoyed the unboxing in itself, give me a thumbs up. I definitely would appreciate it. And until the next video, I'm going to say a tout à l'heure. See you later.